Assalamu alaikum ji, this is Saad Mohammed, the Desi Mountaineer, right now at Kashabram Base Camp in the middle of the Karakrums, just above 5,000 meters from sea level. And I'm here to test my metal against the mighty Kashabram 2. But wait, shouldn't I be telling you how I got here in the first place? Hey, Assalamu Alaikum, this is Saad Muhammad, the Desi Mountaineer. Right now I'm on top of Mukshpuri, which is almost 2,800 meters above sea level. So I'm, um, this is 1st of July and I'm uh, flying out to Skardu inshallah on the 3rd. So, so before I leave, this, is, this will be the last bit of uh, the training. So I'll probably be taking a rest from tomorrow up until I start the trek towards Gashabram via Concordia, via Skardu, via Skole. So the, the view is awesome up here today if you look behind me. So it's, it's pretty good, uh, partly cloudy, some breeze. What you see behind me is Miranjani, the highest in the Margalas, around 3000 meters above sea level. And uh, I just love the rolling hills of uh, Mukshpuri top. So see you in the expedition. The journey officially began from Islamabad, where I boarded the flight that goes past the 8,125 meters tall Himalayan giant, the Naga Purva, before heading northeast towards the historical city of Skardu. The good thing about quality tour operators is that logistics become a seamless affair. The hotel was at the far end of the city and had a nice view of the Skardu River. Assalamu alaikum, this is Saad Muhammad, the Desi Mountaineer, right now in Skardu. Skardu, at an elevation of 2,500 meters above sea level is at the gateway to the 8,000 meter Karakrum and the glaciers that surround them. The city is at the edge of the river that divides the Himalayas from the Karakrum. Among other things, the area produces one of the best apricots, cherries, 
and apples on the planet. Even if you have a single day in Skardu, you just gotta go and see the bazaar. And in the heart of Skardu is the equipment shop of the late mountaineering legend Hasan Sadpara. While in the bazaar, I went and bought some traditional woolen caps, the balti topi. And after that, I also got myself some dry fruit for the trail. This is Saad Muhammad, the Desi Mountaineer. Right now in Skardu, it is 4th of July, Independence Day. No, it's 4th of July. And uh, we arrived in Skardu yesterday morning. How's the camera? No, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and we found out that we have to leave the very next morning. So we are. This is too early. So we, we are done with the breakfast. And my high porter has arrived. So we're going to be leaving for a skole today. from Skardu took us across the Indus River 
through the cold desert and into the evergreen sugar valley. Assalamualaikum. This is Saad Muhammad, the Desi Mountaineer. Uh, it's 9 a.m. and we left Skardu in the morning, and uh, we're right now in uh, Hashupa or probably it's Alchuri, which is known for its orchards. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm. <laughs> He's gonna go on TV. <laughs> this is the craziest Pakistan guy in the world. Be careful. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I have two Czechs, uh, not the bank Czechs, but two, two people from uh, Czech Republic I'm traveling with and we'll be going up to Concordia together. So last night uh, the high altitude porter and my climbing partner arrived. Um, say hello to Shifali. Yes. Hello Shifa. Chidali. Yeah. Ah, Bafa. So see you guys in uh, Hyderabad or uh, there's a Hyderabad down the road here as well or maybe uh, at a polygon where we'll probably have lunch so see you This year, the road to Oskole has been very prone to daily mudslides and there was a holdup right in the middle of the mudslide area as we were about to cross it. Shubal Judy and uh, so we've arrived at uh, this uh, place 
on the road where uh, the mudslide happened last night so this is the direction from the from where the rock and debris came in from the actual road is that way meanwhile people are trying to take an alternate route but uh, there's a lot of wet mud here and uh, we're going to have to see how long this hold up is going to be journey beyond the landslide area was a never-ending collage of dirt tracks, hanging wooden bridges and tree-lined pavilions. As we rumble and rattle along the never-ending dirt track, I can't help but think about how the expeditions of the 80s and maybe even the 90s would have had to cover all these expansive distances on foot. Getting to the base of the mountain would have been an expedition in itself.
11:40 a.m. and we've uh, arrived in Dasu and it's going to be an early lunch break so very very nice place Dasu you can look at these big rock faces really big boulders so we're going to go to this uh, very nice garden hotel for lunch. Thank you.